Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to part two of the do-it-yourself hacks and uses for pill bottles. Uh, we left off here on number 11, which is uh, if you have a clear container, and, and a lot of these bo bottles are not clear, they tend to be uh, uh, made to block UV light so that they don't break down the medicine or vitamins. Uh, but if you do have a clear container, you could tape um, an LED light inside. Now, there are actually some very small keychain lights, like the Photon uh, brand, that actually make some, some small keychain lights that have different modes, like a beacon mode that flashes, um, and they have some that, that stay on, constant on, so you could do it like a, a lantern mode. But you could basically, um, without having the tape and the, and the cording on here, and it was just clear, uh, you could use it as... Uh, basically a beacon or small lantern, which is really cool. Now, if you have a lot larger container, maybe like this or even larger, um, with the top, of course, uh, off, uh, you could put a candle, a very small candle. Um, it may be uh, something like a tea light candle or even smaller uh, and light that, and it would probably be okay. I would, I would say that it probably wouldn't melt the container, but... You'd probably have to experiment, but it is possible maybe for short durations to even use a candle um, and use this in a uh, uh, kind of like a lantern configuration. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next is a signal kit. Uh, so you could actually outfit this um, with, uh, for example, you could put a whistle in there, a uh, signal panel. Uh, they have some very uh, lightweight and very compact, um, you know, uh, small form uh, signal panels that are very brightly colored. You could put a, a light that has a, a, a flashy mode on, in there. And uh, basically a, a lighter and various tender inside here uh, to create a signal fire and so forth. Basically you have a little uh, you know container that uh, gives you the means to get other people's attention. Uh, you could also use containers to organize your batteries. Uh, so very often I open up one of my bags and a battery or two just fall out. And it's like, wow. Um, so I start putting them into Ziploc bags, typically. Uh, that works, but uh, this actually is even better in a lot of ways because uh, once you fill it up uh, with the batteries you want, you could always put uh, material on top of the batteries if there's a little bit of dead space uh, just to keep them from rattling around. So that's an option. Um, you could also put sharp things in these bottles. Uh, and it could be maybe some of your sewing needles, uh, nails or screws, tacks. Uh, it could be thorns if you're trying to make things, maybe like a, a makeshift fishing hook. Uh, of course, you could actually put fishing hooks in there as well. And uh, maybe if you have uh, a little shards of bone that you're thinking about reusing, you know, in the field, you could put some of that in there. And, and you know, just, just a whole medley of things. Just a whole medley. So um, just keep in mind uh, that sharp things um, uh, could go in there uh, so that you don't get yourself stuck by accident. Another idea is, uh, is your shelter kit. Now, you probably wouldn't be able to put a lot of shelter inside in terms of like a tarp or even a poncho. But I mean, this thing would definitely hold a few garbage bags and probably maybe one of those emergency uh, poncho shelters. Um, I don't know about a tube tent, but uh, it just depends on the size of your bottle. But basically, you could have your cording, uh, like kind of like this, it would actually be pretty decent, and, and have a few means of, um, of protection from the environment. Even some of the, uh, the painters, um, you know, the plastic sheeting that, that the, plain, the painters use could be stuffed down inside there. So basically, you can make a very basic rudimentary shelter kit. The next is a repair kit. Uh, you know, obviously you could probably do this configuration as well uh, on the outside. So you have some cording and some tape to help uh, repair gear. On the inside, you could have, a, you know, a sewing kit, uh, you know, even more tape. You could have uh, various, uh, you know, types of glue, uh, especially some uh, maybe like super glue. Uh, but basically you could have a whole medley of different items. And you probably wouldn't even need a bottle this large uh, for a repair kit. You could probably go with a smaller one and just be fine. Another idea would be to um, use this as a mini suspension container. A uh, suspension container, you may be asking, why would you want that? Uh, well, first off, um, 
if you're familiar with like uh, bear sacks, uh, where they put like maybe their food in a sack and then they elevate it 15 to 30 feet up in a tree. So when they go out on a hike and they come back to base camp, their food is still there because uh, the bears can't get to it. And so it's the same thing with this. If you don't have like a lot of food, uh, you could put maybe like uh, maybe your berries in here uh, or if you just caught a small fish. Uh, this would probably, after you clean the fish, this could probably easily hold a small fish. Or if you had maybe some frog legs or if you went frog gigging and you had maybe a dozen frog legs, you could put that in here. And then when you get back from your hike, you know, an hour or two later, you could just cook them all up and have a nice little supper. And so if you're going to do that, I have a carabiner here uh, that you could actually use to help suspend this uh, up in a tree. So basically like a, a suspension container. The next would be um, as a handle or base. So if you were to hold it like this and take off the, the lid, uh, basically you can modify this uh, as a slingshot. Uh, it would take you uh, just a little bit of forethought, of course, to you'd probably want to have uh, maybe uh, some type of limb or stick that had a forking off uh, that you could put inside there and you could actually attach with tape um, that piece of forked um, material uh, and of course attach, you know, your rubber bands or maybe ranger bands or whatever you had. Um, but you could use this as the base or handle of a slingshot. Uh, you could even use a smaller bottle as well. So you could modify that. Um, what about, um, trip wires or, uh, for perimeter security systems? Absolutely. Uh, you could put, uh, uh rocks, especially in these larger containers, uh, things that would make a lot of noise, especially if it fell off of a, of a ledge or, and it hit something else that was hard. So, um, if you had some rocks in here that, you know, the top was off and it had rocks and, uh, the trip wire was attached to maybe the neck of the bottle. And then someone walked in, they, they ran into this, this, uh, the, the trip wire, it would knock the bottle over dropping out, uh, rocks onto a hard surface, um, uh, and, uh, making noise, or you could put leaves underneath so that you could hear that too. It just depends on what's in your environment, but there's probably a way to make a trip wire of this. And, um, and so that's an option. What about um, a holder? So if you had the lid off and it was empty, um, you could uh, probably bury this, this bottle maybe halfway down in the ground um, and use it as a, as a flare holder. Uh, so that's definitely an option, especially if you're uh, awaiting rescue and you see the, the rescue helicopter coming in and they're having a hard time positioning where you're at exactly because it may be fog uh, or just environmental conditions. Um, that could be a way. Uh, or if you're going out, um, you know, away from camp and uh, you have one of those light sticks, it could be a glow-in-the-dark light sticks. Uh, this could be a holder, especially for the smaller bottles that would allow a lot more of the light stick to show. And you could position this all over the place, you know, various places. And you wouldn't even have to bury them. But, you know, you could just kind of think out of the box as, as, a, as some type of a, of a hoder. Okay, so um, that's the main part of these, um, of these like, uh, do-it-yourself hacks. But I do have a bonus. And it is, uh, if you load this down with water or, or rocks or, you know, heavy materials, uh, you could use this um, as a, a weight, kind of like, uh, like a paperweight, if you will, uh, to hold down... Uh, a drop cloth, uh, maybe your tarp or uh, whatever you're doing um, so that basically you don't have to stake it down. It's just for temporary use. But if you had a few of these bottles and they wouldn't even have to be this big, you could put them in the corners of maybe a tarp or uh, maybe just something that you put down on the ground. Um, so it's just another option as well. Uh, so just think outside the box when we're talking about uh, survival and preparedness philosophies. Um, there are so many probably other things you can do uh, with these bottles, and uh, I really do look forward to you know hearing some more suggestions. Uh, thanks for everyone uh, that has uh, submitted some different uh, different ideas. Uh, I really did enjoy a few uh, that included uh, using these uh, as um, a means to put your tender, your fire tender collection, so you can keep it dry. Thanks for that suggestion, and uh, and another suggestion saying hey, you know the smaller bottles work good as well. Uh, for organizing your gear. So thanks again. Uh, you guys take care. Catch you later.